Okay, there is one thing I want to review quick because I got a couple questions about it, about the axis of symmetry. So for example, in this equation, we have minus x plus 5, x squared minus 6x plus, I barely read that, sorry, x squared minus 6x plus 5. And so the first way you can find the axis of symmetry is when you look on the graph. We already know that on the graph here, our zeros are at 1 and 5. So I'll graph that here. So let's say 1 is here, 2, better than that, 2, 3, 4, and 5 here. Right there like that. So now my graph is something like that. I'm just sketching it. So the axis of symmetry is the line, that imaginary line that cuts it in half. So be this line here. And so I know that is, this is one, this is two, three, four, that's five. So my axis of symmetry would be here, x equals three. But if I didn't have a graph, there's another way to find it. There is the formula negative b over 2a, where this is a here, this is b, and that's c. So we're just going to use these two numbers here, a and b. And this formula, this is given on the formula packet. So you have negative 1. Sorry, b is a 6. Negative, wait, negative 6. Put that in for b. Negative 6 over 2a. a is 1, which equals, so I have two negatives here. So that makes it a positive 6 over 2, which equals 3. So then x equals 3 is my axis of symmetry. So it, either way is fine. Usually most students will do it graphically. They'll just graph the equation, which is OK. Some students, they like the equation here, the formula, negative b over 2a. And remember, this represents the x value of your vertex right here. So we know that's going to be 3 something. 